Hi, everyone. I am Mr. Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Watson Institute Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to see the project management using Gantt chart. Learning outcome. At the end of the session, the students is going to able to develop and compare the Gantt chart of the schedule activity of the project with the milestone chart. Now start with we'll start with the project and the project management. Now project a project is nothing else it is a unique process in which a series of activities are present. They are sequenced and they are designed in, designed and organized in such a way that the particular project should be complete within the constraints of the time and the specific budgetary and the resource availability. Here what is a project management it is a function of the uh, you can say the leader or a particular project manager to use his practical knowledge and experience along with the applications of a skill and the technical tools and methods for the carrying out the activities of the particular project. Here he try to cohesive a force of overall team towards the completion of the particular project. The project management techniques. Here the project management techniques are nothing else it is a graphical presentation in this we see the gantt chart that is also known as a bar chart and the milestone chart and the second one is a network technique within which we see the cpm that is a critical path method and the pert that is a program evaluation review technique which are the network technique now let's see the history of chart for the management the henry gant was an american engineer a management consultant and a social scientist who has derived the a chart that is a bar chart as himself he has derived the name it is given as the gant chart he has worked with f w taylor who is the father of scientific management he has used this technique for the production in the world war 1 and he has also used this technique for the planning of the hover dam as well as the interstate highway connectivity constructions now the gantt chart a gantt chart is a graphical presentation of the project and its activities in this we see the horizontal axis which is representing the duration and the vertical axis which is representing the activities here the bars which are present in the these two axes are nothing else it is a activity representation and the length of the bar is representing the time required for the completion of the activity now before going to start the construction of the particular gantt chart the following important is what the there is a time estimation of the particular activity now the following point should be considered for the time estimation of the activity which will finally derive the particular project duration here once we define the project we have to define the activity present in the project and their sequence this can be done by the work breakdown structure after this we have to estimate the activities resource requirement in which we come to know what are the resources required for the completion of the particular activity and see the availability of the resource available with the particular company or you can say the organization after knowing the availability of the resource we can estimate the activity duration the activity duration can be estimated based on the analogous estimating a parametric estimating three point estimating or you can say the expert ex experience as well as judgment after that finally we have to schedule the particular project in the scheduling we assign all the resource to particular activity and after that we have to monitor and we have to have the control on that particular activities of the project here with the help of the above points finally we can obtain the activities and their interdependency and the resource the duration required for the completion of the activity which will help us to construct the graphical representations of the particular project now 
this is a particularly traditional presentation of the building project. Initially, the particular manager used to present the particular project in the text form. As it is shown in the table, it is, he, list, he has to list the particular activity present in the project, the starting time or you can say starting duration and the duration required for the completion of that particular activity. But this was somewhat a particular un means it was a particularly there was a deficiency of the reading of the particular uh, project uh, periodically. To overcome this, the particular Henry Gang developed the GAN chart that is a bar chart which is a graphical presentation. This is a, a GAN chart presentation of the particular project. Here we see that the horizontal axis is representing the duration and the vertical axis is representing the activities. Here we see the green color bar with certain thickness but the thickness is nothing it is a only considered for the representation but the length of the particular bar is nothing else it is a time required for the completion of the particular activity here each bar on which i have presented the text that is a 5 7 2 2 these are nothing else these are the time required for the completion of that particular activity again this is a second uh, graphical representation that is the milestone chart. Here, the particular same project I have represented by this milestone chart. Milestones. These milestones are nothing else, it, they are representing the starting and the end. And secondly, they can show the progress of work by showing the second milestone chart, which is in the blue color. Here, we will compare the GAN chart and the milestone chart. First of all, the most important thing is what the bar chart is a representation of the bars and the milestone chart is a representation of the milestones. The most important in the particular GAN chart and the milestone chart is what here we won't show any key events but in the milestone chart we show the key events that is a major difference between the particular GAN chart and the milestone chart. Another one is what here we if we won't show any key events or you can say the sub activities in the bar chart but here we can show the sub activities in the particular milestone chart. Here we show the progress milestones also which is presented in this particular chart by the blue color milestone. These are the a major difference between the GAN chart and the milestone chart. Now let's see the advantages of GAN chart and the milestone chart. The advantages of the GAN chart and the milestone chart are nothing else. It is a graphical representation which is easy to construct and it is easy to read or you can say understand by the normal person also. Here the particular team or the particular person can read it and understand easily. There will be a good communication and the coordination among the project team and finally they, it can, they can easily monitor and have the control on what actually is there and what was planned and help us to a team leader or the particular person to make a decision easily. Now the disadvantages of GAN chart and the milestone chart. Here, the most important is what we cannot show the interdependency of the activities or tasks. It is hard to construct for the complex or the large projects. Here, it is a time consuming also. Here, we cannot show the critical activities and the critical activities interdependencies also. Here we can't represent the resource assigned to the particular activities. Also, we cannot level the particular resource. These are the major disadvantages of the GAN chart and the milestone chart. Now, 
let us select the correct answer for the particular questions pause it and select the answer hope so you have selected the uh, correct answer which are mentioned by the arrows these are the references thank you